For this programming exercise, you just needed to add a new layer onto our code, and that was the chord trans layer. I'll pass it the y variable, and I'll set that y equal to square root, which is the function we'll use to transform the y-axis. With this plot, it's much easier to see the distribution of friend count conditional on age. For example, we can see thresholds of friend count above which there are very few users. Now, you might have noticed I went back from geom jitter to geom point. If we wanted to also add jitter to the points, we'd have to use a bit more elaborate syntax to specify that we only want to jitter the ages. We also need to be careful since some people have a friend count of zero. If we add noise to zero friend counts, we might end up with negative numbers for some of our friend counts, and those square roots would be imaginary. So to make this adjustment, I'm going to set the position parameter equal to position jitter, and then I'll pass it a minimum height of zero. This is a bit more advanced in terms of syntax, but it prevents us from having that warning message and getting negative friend counts over here. Remember that jitter can add positive or negative noise to each of our points.